I love hot pot. But before I can bring you with me to this old school, over 40 year old hot pot joint, I'm gonna bring y'all back a few hours with me because we had to enjoy a delicious breakfast and a nice little sweet treat this morning before our hot pot feast. We were at the first spot going for banh mi chow, and I tell you what, full house got nowhere to sit. Looks like Tim and I are gonna have to wait a little bit. Well, here you know, well, here you know. From the Ang Kwai. Kwai Hao? Yeah. Uh, a day, bao nhiêu nam roi? Hai nam. Hai nam. Okay, hai nam. Joy. So they got a couple which you can choose from. I'm actually gonna go for the one that's got the soaked teal dim, which teal would be black pepper, dim would be black, so it's just like a black pepper sauce. So you see the actual chow right there. So this is the type of like banh mi chow, because you got the banh mi, which you'll dip, and they're cooking it in the chow. And I like what he does. He takes the extra oil that's already heated up, and he's throwing it over another he's got where he's cooking down those onions and beef that he'll later use to put in this chow or little skillet. So this is what I want to get right here, their signature. They're actually going to get the beef with onions, stir fried first with a bunch of oil. Crack open some eggs, sunny side, and then he's gonna hit it with that black pepper sauce, and then hit it with two types of cha, and finish it off with a little pate. Salad for you, bro. <laughs> right here, man. So I got it with two eggs for us. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's an upgrade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm just figured like two eggs is better than one, right? Oh, yeah. Definitely, man. More yolk. I think just a little touch of soy sauce and mix it in and get after it. Simple. Bummy mm -hmm. check one, two, one, two. Ooh. Nice, I like that. It's a good crispiness. Make a little pocket. mini banh mi bite, get a little sauce on this. So the soaked teal bin, it's really just like a reduced down meat with a lot of black pepper. It gives a lot of saltiness, oiliness, really soaks in that banh mi. So nice, and then you pair it with the pate, all the cha, and then the fried up eggs that get a little burnt on the edges so you get that crispiness. You don't see any complaints coming from me. Wonderful, man. This is like um, steak and eggs in the morning, Vietnamese style. Delicious. The double egg was a good choice. Good, good choice. Hey, you know what they say? What's better than one egg? Two eggs. <laughs> Tim got a saying too, egg yolk is like God's natural gravy. Okay. I think what's important though, or even their little Vietnamese sausage are really good, very flavorful. It could be easy to put all these things in here, say, oh man, I got the sauce, these eggs, these onions, this beef. You know, we can kind of slip on that, but they don't. Each and every little component here is really flavorful. I'm not too sure what I went through faster, banh mi or napkins. Man, very delicious. Makes you understand why there's so many people there. But really the gravy, I mean, it just, he's sticking it up so nice. It's got a lot of flavor to it. Love the little kick of black peppercorn from it. Mm, doing a good job. So we are just above the bridge, still in District 3 in a nice little market. Looks like the morning market turned into an afternoon food market. Going for a little sweet treat here. Something I've never had, I see it's Looks like sticky rice has been purple color and it's got coconut and it's rolled up. I don't know, it just intrigued me. So I thought I'd bring y'all along with me and uh, try it out. Good eye. Yeah, don't worry. 
<cười> Chào cô <cười> Cô tên là gì? À? Cô tên là gì? Cô tên Thúy Thúy, tôi, à. à, tôi tên là Max Cái à. <cười> này là bạn của tôi, bạn của tôi không thể nói tiếng Việt Bởi vì người Mỹ Biết nói tiếng Việt hả? À, không, 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 không bởi vì người Mỹ Trời ơi, à, trời ơi tôi biết <cười> <cười> Mọi người Việt Nam đã suy nghĩ bạn của tôi có thể nói tiếng Việt nhưng không thể nói <cười> Đường Đường, mè Đường, mè Này nước cốt vừa nè Nước cốt vừa, dạ Ở đây, đây là cái dừa nào nữa nè, dừa mà dừa nào nè Nước cốt vừa, nước cốt vừa Rồi, vào nền gong Cô ở đây bao nhiêu năm rồi? Gần 40 năm rồi 40 năm, wow, ok 40 năm mà tại cái gốc của dưới quê, cô nói chuyện tiếng quê phải không? Ừ, ừ, ừ. <cười> nói tiếng quê, không có nói tiếng này được So I feel like such a jerk. I talked to her a little bit. She's very, very shy. So I'm not going to keep the camera on her too much because I feel like it's a lot on her. I feel like a terrible person. Can I bánh tráng? Bánh tráng. Bánh tráng. Hmm. Bánh tráng quấn xôi ăn. That's it. Fancy I had from high school. Dude, that's how you make it. That's the <laughs> recipe, dog. <laughs> okay, that's the secret. Okay, keep the wrapper in. Okay, got last night's homework wrapped around my snack here. Okay, they're all the same, or? Yeah, they're all the same. So these are the big ones. So well, you got two types. You got a small one and a big one. I was like, yeah, I gotta go big or go home, right? Yep, right, right. So, I'm guessing the thicker one is the bigger one. Uh, they're all the same. Oh. Listen, it's like it's like sushi roll. Yeah, it's sushi roll. You know, you have to put a plastic bag and then put in the nori and whatnot. So, okay, we're gonna try it. Oh, very nice. Gong, gong, that noise, gong, don't cry. Very nice, very nice. Very nice with all the compliment on top. It's like a dessert taco. I'm in my element right now. I'm in a market. I'm eating sweets. There's karaoke going on in the background. Feeling at home. Hmm. Wow. Tim's right. There's just so many textures going on. You get into the shredded coconut, you actually hit the coconut sauce. You get the creamy, actual mung bean mixture. And the sticky rice is warm and just, hmm, is perfectly cooked. That's 40 years of experience cooking that sticky rice for you. And then you kind of bite and snap through that outside coating. Huh. I'll tell you, the only thing that gets me and I cannot get used to is the addition of the mahan into the sweets. I know people kind of like that, that oil, that scallion in there, but it still just throws me for a loop. I know I probably should have said no, 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 but you know, I want to try it in its original form first. You never know. You love it? I love it. Uh, the different, the yin and the yang, man. I'm American, I'm used to like overindulgent sweets. Like I don't like yin and yang with my sweets. I just like sugar, sugar, fat, and sugar. <laughs> you know it's true. Hmm. Really, I just love the double coconut going on here with sticky rice. Hmm. Okay, so I could not sit there and make that video for too long. I felt so bad because that lady was so nervous with the camera, so just a little quickie. Anyways, Tim and I are about to rest, and then we're going to meet tonight for that very old school traditional beef hot pot. Okay, so honestly, they open at 5.30 and it's uh, 5.15. Come early. So you haven't got to meet her yet, but I'll show you Cole in just a second. She said she's been here 40 years. Oh, she's so sweet too, man. Asked if I could film and she just busted the biggest grin on her face. 
I don't think she's going to work too much tonight. I don't think she can. I'm uh, going to have the men kind of mainly working it, but I hope she comes out. I want to show you. Taco. <laughs> So you'll see she's gone already. She comes out here, she just kind of gives a few orders and she's tasting the broth, making sure it's right. Wow. And it looks like they only got enough burners to do five at a round, so we're not gonna get first round. We're gonna have to wait for that second round to come out. Now there's a lot of assembly going on. You still got women in the back prepping. You got the men in the front actually creating the hot pots. There's a lot going on here. But I'll tell you what, there's two types of people here. People that look sad because they don't have their hot pot yet and people are very happy because they have their hot pot. So you got the actual meat, you got the again, which is gonna be like the cartilage. You got the mushroom, the okra, the taro. I do believe what was the tofu skin, some fried shallots, and then they're close it. And you gotta let it cook for about five to 10 minutes before you can open it and start eating it. Watch out, I think it's ours. There's only two left, man. That one was not ours. Well, this the next one's ours because the, the, the tables are full. Yeah, come on, hand. Oh, Tim, we're close. Ready for this, man. Excited. Excited. Oh, yeah. This is a good shot. I'm glad it's a cool day in Saigon. Your boy here about to break a sweat. This is hot. I love this table, the way it's worn down. While we're waiting for this, let's go ahead and talk about the sauce. Looks like a fermented tofu and chili oil mixture. It looks good, but I need a little extra chili oil in mine. Sweet, funky, <clears throat> okay, okay. It does have a little kick in the back. You feel it hit your throat a little bit. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's some legit stuff, man. You know that's good right there. Oh, there's an okra in there too. Oh yeah. And mushrooms and beef and all kind of all kind of meat, man. From this in here. I think we gotta take out some before we can add some more. Yeah. <laughs> the dip dog says no. Oh, really good. The sauce is great. The tofu skin is better. All right, y'all. He said topo skin's good. Let's check it out. And uh, by the way, terrible seat. I'm about to show y'all what a real chopstick master looks like. We're about to go everything left-handed today. Terrible seat for me. Mm. Ooh. I dunked mine pretty hard because I'm actually not that good with my left hand, believe it or not. Dang, that sauce got that kick, that funkiness, that fermented tofu all over that soft slightly snapped through tofu skin. Mm. That's a tofu on tofu battle, bro. They gotta bottle this thing and sell it. That's all. I'm buying. I'm gonna get up in these people's business because I gotta make sure I don't drop this one. Mm. Y'all, that beef is so flavorful. The actual meat, it's soft, but it's got the right amount of marbling in it, so it gets a little bit of that melt in your mouth property. Not too much though, still on the more lean, mean side. It actually reminds me of the beef you get in like a Taiwanese beef noodle. Again, dipped in that sauce. Ooh, money. Damn, damn, damn. I'm writing home about it, man. Is that good? This is amazing. This is my, my amazing pot. I cannot understand why all these people were waiting before it opened. Y'all know this program's PG, so we just got a little tofu on tofu action here. That sauce. It's that raw. It's a lot like a 
Wow, deep, rich meat flavor, but it's got a lot of warming spices, almost like a, uh, I think that's why people like it so much, because it's beef, beef, warming spices, no sweetness coming from it at all. I love that so much, man. I could just sip on that all day. And the thing is, they know the broth makes them here because they will add it for free. They know it's special. They know they want to make you a happy customer. That's why they add it religiously, too. You don't even have to ask. They looking. They watching out for you. I need more work with my left hand with noodles. So we going back right. Mm. That broth, I'm telling you, 40 years of experience, absolute perfection. Feel so glad because she's out here taste testing it, not gonna let it go until it's perfect. Two rounds, only 200. That's the cheapest hot pot I've ever had in Saigon. That's cheaper than the lat. Oh my gosh. That's insane, y'all. That is one of the best hot pots I've had south of the lat and north of the Mian Day. So yes, that's one of the best hot pots I've had in Saigon, y'all. That was phenomenal. Just eight and eight and eight. They just kept filling it up. Good people. That's why people are lined up over here on the edge. My number one hot pot, my number one beef hot pot in Saigon. Maybe. Actually, I'll take that back. It may be my number one hot pot overall. I'm just giddy with excitement. Anyways, then Max, catch you at the next video. Peace.